Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in my previous session, we talked about that virtual agent and we talked about that what are the things we can do. Today we are mostly focusing on the scripting part and the topics part. So okay, how we can uh, configure the topics. Okay, so before we jump to that, um, let me go to the uh, collaboration module. So in the collaboration module, you can see that, um, let me go to these portals. So you can see that uh, there are few options available. First of all, this contact live agent, uh, this call and uh, these options and even this uh, now support and this logo, these things can be configurable first of all. Okay. So do, to do the configuration, you have to go to the col uh, collaboration okay. module and then inside there, there is a branding setup. Inside the branding setup, you can build or you can modify the branding uh, like a service portal in the branding editor. You can uh, change that branding um, like a this header. If you want to change this image, you can change this image, uh, the color of this header. You can make those changes here okay also if you see uh, there are few options available you can see uh, like connect live chat and this is the estimated time send mail to the connect customer support and call support these things if you want to change there are certain uh, checkbox here uh, this is the message label this is a checkbox label email address phone number these are the configuration things you can uh, made changes on your uh, virtual agent okay so apart from that there is the most important things that we are talking about is the designer how we can design okay how we can build our own custom um, uh, design or custom topics so i will show you in the end of this video you can get something but uh, quickly but today i am going to uh, build some designer from the scratch okay so what we will do i will do I'll build a incident module, incident topics, so that if someone type the incident, it will involve, okay? So let me go back to the designer mode. And I'm going to create one module called incident. And that incident will do two things. It will search some incident and it will uh, create some incident, okay? So two things will be doing. So let's first create a added new topic. And then here I'm just putting that, um, So now I'm putting that incident here. So in this sort description, you can put any of the sort description. Okay. Um, that depends on completely uh, on your case. Whatever name you are putting that, remember that by default, the keyword taking that one. Okay. So in the category, you can choose any of this category. Uh, you can create the categories from here, uh, the categories module, if you want to segregate between the categories. So I'm just putting that category is incident and then here is that condition if you want to put some condition in certain case in, in which case it should be applicable you can put some condition also okay in both condition also you can put some roles so that for which role it should be initiated i'm not going to those right now i'm just putting that incident short description and this keyword keyword is the main important things so keyword like in alexa so whatever keyword you'll put that if the user or end user type that keyword then only these um, topics will be involved okay so i'll put that issue okay so if someone type incident or issue the system will pick that uh, these topics okay and next you save that so these topics have um, i'm putting some more okay so these topics once you created these topics so there will be some i don't know why yeah so once you create the topics you have to be designed the flow or which the topic should be uh, redirect on which flow okay so let's edit this flow so whenever you edit this flow there will be start and end in between you have to track the user input you have to take the user input and you have to provide some responses to the user okay so you don't have to think about the initiation message because initiation message will be predefined i'll talk that later but first think about that in this topics in this topic incident new what we are going to do we are going to take some input from the user what input so user is looking for new incident or user is looking for that searching the incident right so we'll so 
if we are taking the user input we have to be drag any user input so i am just choosing static choice so i drag that so i'm going to put or get some inputs from the user so so what i'm going to do u underscore um user input okay so whatever name you will put put that this name will be automatically showing in the variable sections so, okay this is that read only field now the prompt prompt is the uh, there's something that will show into the user so i am just providing that select choice okay so in this choice you can see we put that select static choice now we have to be create some choice build choice choice value okay so first i am going to put that uh, create new the value back end value also the same and second value i am going to create that um search okay so two value I just create so now let's see if you preview that it will help you to see that um, how it is looking right right now so I'm just clicking that preview it will open the virtual agent and it will show me that question so select choice whatever we put in that first and then you have a two option create and search once you click that there is no flow we have till now designed we are going to design that okay so what we are going to design uh, we are we are need to be make the decision right so whatever user input the inputs we have to take the decision and take that to that next level so in that case you, ca you can see the utilize utilize here the decision by uh, here so I have to drag that so once I drag the decision you can see there is a uh, one one path always generated that is always I should click that always and change that create new okay and here I have to put the condition in which condition it make decision and change that flow so I am just selecting that user input is create new then it should follow this path right and again I am clicking the new plus sign so it will generate another um, condition which is always I just have to select that search so click the add condition select here user input and search and save so I make the decision suppose users click the create new I should go to this left side if so users select that search I should go to the right side okay now what I have to do I have to be uh, create some in incident right to create the incident what things I need I need that description or short description right so let's take that input from the user so to take that input I am just dragging the text box into the create and what I am putting that u underscore message okay so once you put that message here I have to put some message so that the user can know what we are looking for so please provide issue details so whatever issue the user will be provide us so we should be able to take that data and we should be able to process right so let's do that what I am going to do here I am going to um, process this data right so whatever message they will do so I'm going to drag that script action in between that and here I am putting that process and here I am going to put the script in the script what I'll do I'll query the incident table and from the incident table I'll process that I'll create an incident okay so first I'm going to glide query where gr equal to new glide record okay and here i'm going to pass the incident table gr dot initialize sorry 
okay and now I am going to put that GR dot short description and here the whatever variable they are going to pass they put pass that we need to be pass so V once you put that VA so VA inputs is the user inputs okay so we are going to put the VA inputs dot um, message right so whatever message user provided we will take that message and put into that backend table okay now we need two things once the incident is created we should be uh, say that the incident is created and then if you want to like to add some links you can add right so we'll do that to do that we need to be create two links sorry we need to create two variables so if you want to create some variables you can create i'm going to create one variable called s id so where i am going to put the sys id and second variable is i'm going to create that um inc number okay i is capital okay so now in this in this two variable i should pass the value okay so let's do that so what i am going to do where um dot number equal to gr dot number okay and then where dot is id equal to gr dot sys underscore id okay so so in this processing we'll store these two in this we'll assign some value to these variables and then we'll show that right so what we'll do um we'll create a links okay so let me drag this links here from the bot response and in the link i'm just putting the link here incident created incident here what we need to do in the label what label we want to put okay so label we should provide that in the picker you can see select that script variables so in the label we should be able to provide that incident number and the link we should be able to put the incident number so let me put that if i go to this incident table and open any incident so how the link is showing so copy this link right click copy this url and then paste to that link here okay and now we don't need that instance particular instance because if we move the production it won't work so slash then incident number and this is the sys id and sys id will be dynamic because we should be able to select the script variable and then s id okay so so we created that one so whenever the incident will be created there will be some blink or card where the people will be able to see that okay so let's see click the preview option our chatbot is open virtual agent is open and from there only uh, we can be able to select two option so i am going to select that create new and then from there only it will ask me to put the message put the some issue details my laptop is not working okay once we click that it will create a incident for us and from there only you can see this is the incident number which is generated and the header whatever we put the header the create incident this is the header this is the label and backend it's generate one link so once i click that it should be able to redirect me that particular incident okay so i think i have some so you can see that my laptop is not working this incident is created 
okay now second path um, I'll do that uh, you can be able to um, search some incident right I just put that one option so to do that I am going to again put one user input the text input right and the text input I'll put that um, what happens so a u underscore search created that one variable and here please so once I get some information from the user I should be able to show that information right so I am just taking that bot response and drag that bot response here and here I am just putting that cart type I am just cho choosing the script the table is definitely for sure incident and the condition I'm just choosing that here see mm, sorry the number contains into that input you search and done so whatever you put, put that search will be able to search that into card and show you so what are the field I'm going to show you number and then short description okay so these many fields we are going to search here so finally our um, bot is end okay our bot is end now I should be able to save that and preview that and I am a I should be able to search that okay so let's do that go to back to that um, virtual agent and go to the designer and open that incident I think it's already activated right so we should be able to use that okay so it's already activated I'm just clicking that publish once more time now once I go to the service portal and let me refresh that so this is our portal now we are going to um, interacting with the virtual agent okay so let's do that so if I click here it will initiate that our virtual agent so this message uh, how uh, hi I am virtual agent let me know this message also can be changed into uh, I'll show you quickly and now suppose the user is searching I am facing an issue So if you see there are something um, already one keyword with that I just click that I want something else. So here you can click the show more and here you can click the incident it will open the pick that topic the incident topic and here you can create an incident or search an incident I am just cho choosing the search an incident and it will ask me for incident number I'll put that incident number here from there and search here so you can see whatever field we added all these number short description state priority all these fields are showing okay that's how you can do your configuration okay so that's all about that uh, development or you know, whatever the things you can do in the uh, into that virtual agent but there is a already one plugin available into the developer instance I'll quickly show you that from there only okay Virtual agent uh, we can you can see that we can create multiple uh, topics here and based on the topics it can text that and it can be um, build multiple things right so as we are doing that custom we are building some custom topics but uh, service now uh, provide also some predefined topics that you can just go and activate that from your uh, plugins if you go to your developer instance and click that active plugins 
and then type that virtual uh, agent you can see that there are uh, two more virtual agent plugin available one is that ITSM virtual agent conversation another is the customer service virtual agent conversation these two are uh, just a um, package that help you to preload some of the um, topics I'm going to activate this one uh, this virtual agent and it will take some time and so once this uh, plugin will be activated you will be able to see some topics added my um, my virtual here okay and those will be more responsive so as many as topic you will build uh, your virtual agent will be a response uh, that many smoothly okay so that's how we can uh, uh, make our virtual agent perfectly uh, um, it can be work perfectly okay so be, as many as you build the topics your virtual agent will be work uh, that many um, perfect on that that many perfection okay so be, uh, you can um, build yourself by writing the custom code and then or maybe you can activate that these are the three plugins I just told you okay so keep exploring and if you have any question just ping me in whatsapp or I'll uh, put some comments in my comment section I'll check and reply as soon as possible have a great day